Hi guys. Oh, I can see I got the light on my camera. Well, let's take a look and see how that is doing. So let me get set up here. And we'll see how we are looking. Ba -ba -da. Get it to come up on my screen. So we can get started. There we go. All right. Okay, so looks like you can see me okay. Let me just share this to a couple places and then we'll get going. So how's everyone doing today? Are you enjoying the cool, cooler weather? I know I am. I even sat outside a while this morning. Okay, great. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you how you can also use our pumpkin transfers on to a board. Um, let me introduce myself. I'm Robin Schmidt. I am with the Dessa Rose Crates. I am a Dessa Rose Crates, I should say. A Dessa Rose is named after my grandmother's. It's their middle names, Carrie Odessa and Mary Rosella. So that's how I came up with the Dessa Rose. So in case you were wondering, what? What's up with all the names? So hello and welcome. I am a Chocotour independent designer. I live in the Omaha, Nebraska area but I grew up and lived in um, Iowa all my life until the last couple years. I've moved over here. And um, before moving, I had my own gift shop, home decor, coffee shop, lunch, fudge, you name it, in Centerville, Iowa, where we lived for over 20 years. So now I'm out here in Elkhorn. Uh, we moved out here to be closer to our kids and grandbabies. So that's it in a nutshell. So. Uh, you've probably seen on my page some of them are pumpkin cutout designs. These are awesome. They are from Chocotour. You buy them unfinished or plain. They're already painted. It's a wood grain and it's got the painted kind of an off-white. And then you can buy our transfers that fit perfectly onto the pumpkins. This is some Halloween ones. Here's our transfers. This comes in a set. And you're gonna get two large patterns for the large cutout. The berry and the argyle. And then two patterns for the short pumpkin, the polka dot and the stripes, okay? So that is one transfer for $29.99 and the pumpkins are only $12.99 and you get one of each in the set, okay? And um, with this, I made a little video on this, doing this technique, I painted the surface first. This I did in the green, and this I did the orange and purple, and then when that dried, I put the transfer over and did it in black, and that's how I did the Halloween ones. And then you just add additional little transfers on for the words if you want to, or you can leave them plain. You also can do the back. You just have to keep in mind that when you turn it over, the stem goes in the opposite direction. So you just either transfer it on and then pick up and line up the polka dots or just leave the stem plain. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, I just left my whole back plain. Cause I, uh, you could do one season on one side and one on the other and just change these out or not put any bows on them or just use the burlap um, but mine said on a um, sofa table so you can see the back so I didn't want different seasons on them so I just did two sets for only $12.99 for the set you just will buy another another set of them and create them differently so that's how I did the pumpkins so far I'm going to have make and take classes with our pumpkins so if you're in the area, look out for that. Or if you are from the Centerville area or anywhere um, and you wanna do a class, just let me know. 
We can either do it virtually online together where everybody orders their supplies ahead of time and we do it together like on a Facebook Live or um, I might be able to come to your area and, and do a make and take event at your home or invite your friends over and whatever. So just let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, Chocotour also came out with Christmas tree cutouts too. So we'll be doing those later um, this fall. And they are a set of three sizes and shapes. So um, look for those. You can go to our catalog on our website, chocotour.com slash Odessa Rose. You'll see this picture, you click on that and you can flip through our beautiful idea book slash catalog and see all different ideas and all the transfers that are available right now. Or you could also click on the shop tab and look at all the transfers that are currently available. And here's our chalk paste. We also have inks for fabrics. So, and our transfers are reusable. They're a silk screen transfer that are washable and reusable. So, another great thing if to get started um, in Chalk Couture is our club which you also see uh, the Club Couture tab. Click on that if you wanna learn more about that. And then we also have the chalk box kits. And these kits, this is the ones that are available now, these projects, you'll get the surface, the transfer, and single packet paste to complete a project. You do need to order a squeegee if you don't already have a squeegee. But these are awesome little um, starter kits to kind of quickly do a project and you'll have all the paste colors you need because you'll get these little sample packets or single packets they call them in with your kit. You also get these with the Club Couture every month so you'll have just enough paste to do a project. Um, so look for those in the catalog. You will see um, it will say kit Let's see if I can find one real quick. And maybe there's a section under shop for just the kits. I think there is. Um, here it is. It looks like this. Chalk box kit. And this is for the gnome one. So check those out too. All right. So let's get started. I wanted to show you how you also can use our pumpkin transfers on a board. There are you know, you don't have to just use them for the cutouts. You can use them for the board also. So you can make a sign if you want, or you can buy one of our uh, canvas banners you can use the chalk paste on or ink, either one. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it on our Odette board. These boards are wonderful. It's not a painted surface. These are washable, so all this can get washed off and reuse it for every season. If you want to redo it, that's awesome. This board is a painted board, and so this is something I will be selling. I seal this in with wax and put this in one of the shops that I sell my, my uh, finished product to. But I'm gonna show you how you do it on the debt board because this you can get from Chalk Couture. These are awesome, they're reusable, and they can hang either direction, horizontal or vertical. So. Earlier I did this one on there just in the black. So I'm gonna wash this off and we're gonna do the pumpkins on it, similar to this. So all you gotta do is squirt it with water. Make sure you can see all that. Let that set for just a little bit. It doesn't take much time. You take a Clorox wipe or a Lysol wipe and you're just gonna wipe all this off. So our chalk paste is dry to the touch. After it dries, you're not gonna mess it up or smear it or anything. And you can seal it in like I did there with the wax, or you can just let it be like this here so you can wash it off. You can see, we're just gonna wipe it. You could also use one of our board erasers, which work even better than, than, than this, which I, I always use my board erasers for washing my transfers too because I don't wash off too many boards. I usually create to sell, so 
That's why I'm not used to using them for the boards, but they work wonderful. That's, that's what their intention was, was to clean off the boards. And the board erasers look like this. They come in a packet of two. And you just open it up, get it, dampen it, and just wipe off the board with that too. So those are actually um, easier than this. But since I've already started it this way, we'll just finish it off. If you don't have a board eraser, you can just use a rag or get a Clorox wipe. how easy it comes off. Maybe one more. So a lot of our boards are made, they're called the boutique boards, and they are made to be washed and reused. clean board. Hi Becky, hi Amy, hi Sherry. Okay, so we've cleaned off this Odette board. This Odette board style comes in three sizes. This is the 9 by 12. It comes in a 6 by 18 and then a bigger one I think would be um, is it 18 by 24. Let me look. I haven't gotten the bigger one yet. These were the canvas banners I was talking about that you can also chalk on or ink. We have chalk paste or inks. We sell. So here's the Odettes. They come in a nine by 12, a six by 18, and a 12 by 18. Three sizes, they all can be hung vertical or horizontal. All these boutique boards are made of this surface, whether they're white or black, washable surfaces. So, pretty awesome. We have other surfaces too. Some are painted, painted wood board that really is not reusable because the chalk paste can stain the paint. So, now let's see if we can do this layered look on this board too. And what you want to do is do the front one first. And as you can see, I set it down a little bit further so it has that dimension that it's setting in front of that one. And then um, when you get this one done, we'll put this one, but you just have to make sure you chalk around the edge of this. Because you don't obviously don't want to see the other pumpkin behind each other. So, so let's just kind of figure out our layout. We'll just go ahead and do the same patterns, or we could do the different patterns, either way. So I just kind of figure out where I'm going to put everything, and then we can do the, still do the thankful right down here, so that'll look good. Okay, so. I've used this several times, so I really don't need to fuzz it anymore. It's plenty sticky. Alright. Here I kind of did a blending technique. Um, you know how we kind of have those new blue grayish pumpkins. Um, and then there's cream pumpkins that kind of have this, they almost look pinkish corally color. So I was trying to get that feel with the blending of the, the cream and the color. So I used uh, Ocean Mist and Fawn and then um, Guava in the Fawn. Now the color Fawn is not available anymore, but they do have 
something a little very similar it's just a little bit darker or they have almond which is more of a kind of a yellow cream and then they have iced coffee so either of those would work and then they still have guava and then they still have ocean mist a lot of the times they'll just change out colors um, in each seasonal catalog but some of them are just of course always there like our black storm bark um, they have a new lighter gray than the storm which is nice too so I haven't gotten any of the newest colors yet I will put those on my next order because I have you know a hundred colors already but I love all the new colors so I will probably get the new colors too so I like to have all the different hues and shades Okay, so let's try, we'll try, I'll show you a little bit of the blending technique. It's really not that much to it. You just, I always put a little bit of water on my fingertip when I actually blend the colors together. So take your blue, kind of go around the edge and leave it kind of thick. You don't want to skim it down yet. You just want it on there. Just kind of putting it around the outside. And then same with the cream, we'll put some in the middle. Okay, and then just get your finger wet. Not, don't get it really, really wet, but just enough to make these colors blend. You can kind of feel when it starts to get dry. Kind of like finger painting. <laughs> it's really kind of hard to sometimes not get that definite line between the two colors. So keep blending. And if you feel like you want more cream in the middle, just add a little bit more cream. And then you do want to scrape off the extra. So take a squeegee and get a paper towel or you can put it back in your jar but you you know you're starting to change your colors a little bit if you put it back in the jar so just wipe it on a paper towel and you'll see what I mean by the color not completely blending really well you might have like a definite line between the two so just kind of keep blending it you think it's blended up on top and then when you go to scrape it down or you pick it up it's not as blended as you thought but smooth out the lines and then remove your transfer put that in water usually when I'm working here by myself I just go ahead and go right into the bathroom or the kitchen wherever I'm at and just wash my transfer under the water and then lay it out to dry right away but to save time I'm just gonna lay it in this bath okay so there's that one it kind of has the good blend to it I'm gonna get some of this paste off my fingers Okay, great tip, thank you. Hi, Rosemary. So I'm gonna blow dry this. I'm gonna put the blue away because we are definitely done with the blue. We will use the cream again. Okay, I'm gonna take my blow dryer. 
hold down to all your papers because they'll blow. chalk so and you can see once it's dry it's not going anywhere getting this paste out of I got all over me <laughs> before I go on to the next color a mess okay now let's put our next pumpkin on Hi, Beverly. And let's see, we get that in there. Make sure it's smooth. So these are the pumpkin cutout transfers, but you can also use them on a board. You don't have to just use them on your pumpkins. And so we're going to chalk around the edge. So I wanna make sure you can see. So let's get out. Guava, and back to our fawn, which is now discontinued, but we do have almond and um, iced coffee. They're also creams. So you can use either one and just go around the edge of that front pumpkin. I'm just going right up to the edge of it. All right, now we need to put some around the out outer side, outer edge, I guess, of the pumpkin. Kind of thick, just like we did with the blue. And of course you can use, there's uh, orange colors and all kinds of colors you can use. You don't have to use these colors. So it just kind of looks like a big old mess, which is fine. Now take your finger, just get it damp, start blending those colors together. get your finger too wet because you don't want the water going underneath the transfer. Don't forget her stem. Now 
let's just scrape it down. Kind of see how our blending turned out. Blended pretty good. Grab a paper towel and we'll scrape this up. Paste all over me. I'm gonna get most of it off. Does anybody have any questions so far? It's pretty easy. You just gotta play with it. And the great thing about working on these uh, boutique boards from Chocotour is if you don't like it, you can just wash it off. Start over again. Because our transfers are reusable. Just wash those, let them dry, and start over. Pretty easy. All right, let's dry this, and then we'll put on our thankful. thankful transfer is from a set of four. Oh, where did I put it? Here it is. It comes in two words, thankful and blessed. And then there's another blessed, a smaller, just like the thankful. So all these came together in one big transfer. So you can cut those along the lines and use them on different different projects. So we're going to use a thankful with the arrow. Of course, there's the blessed and then a larger thankful and a larger blessed. Those are pretty cool. Okay. Hi, Sarah. So if you're just joining, we are, I made this earlier. I'm showing you how to use our pumpkin transfers, which were designed for our cutouts these, but you can also use them on boards. So here's two I did, and these stand up on your shelf or on your table. And I also did some Halloween ones. Like that. So there's four different patterns. There's the berry and the stripe, and then we have a polka dot and an argyle. All super cute. You can do them on both sides. I chose to do just the one side because mine sit on a sofa table where you can see the back. So either I'm gonna do them the same on both sides or I'm just gonna leave them white. So I just leave them white. But if they're gonna be on a shelf or on a mantle, you can definitely do Halloween on one side and fall on the other side and then you can just flip them. Um, in October for Halloween or that week or whatever, however long you want to decorate for Halloween, and then flip them back again for Thanksgiving. Or October, maybe you don't get pumpkins out till October. Put the 
Halloween side out, and then after Halloween, flip them over for Thanksgiving. Some people start decorating for Christmas right after Halloween. All depends on when you start to decorate and what seasons you're more into. Um, and then Chocotour also has Christmas tree cutouts with patterns too. So, pretty awesome. Okay, so um, let's make sure this is straight. And where we want to, I kind of like the arrow down a little bit in that section. But I also don't want it to get lost. Here I have a thankful up up on the pumpkins a little bit higher, so maybe we'll do that. Okay, just make sure the air pockets are out and it's nice and flat. Apply your chocology paste on your angles. There's a little angle on the squeegee, so you wanna make sure it's down on the angle side. And then just take it and run it across. making sure all the silk screen area is filled in and then squeegee it down and put that extra back in your jar, which was kind of hard to do on the pumpkin because we were mixing colors. So if you don't want to contaminate the true color that's in your jar, then just put it on a paper towel. Okay. And then we're gonna pick that up. There you go. Put that in the water and it's done. We'll let that dry. It's pretty much the same, pretty close. So we have a hanger, so we'll be able to hang that up. And like I said, this is washable, so we can wash that off and do a different season on it or a different saying if you want to. You can leave it. I, I wouldn't seal it in unless you plan to never ever change it. Um, don't seal it, don't seal your paste with um, uh, polyurethane or wax. Just leave it, it, it'll be perfectly fine. The only way it would ever get ruined if something actually scratched the surface and scratched that chalk. But to touch it, you're, you're gonna be able to touch it, it's gonna be fine. So just let make sure that dries before you touch it now. But isn't that cute? So that is our little project today. How to use our transfers besides just on the pumpkins. You can definitely make signs with them. Put them on a pillow with our inks. We do sell ink also. Um, you just have to heat set the ink if you're planning on washing it. Heat set it with an iron with parchment paper between your iron and your ink. Um, heat set that on a medium heat for like four minutes. Or um, use, if you have a heat press, you can do it like 350 for 30 seconds. So that's a whole nother project is the inking. But um, super fun to use the paste. And if you wanna do a project and you don't know where to start, the pumpkins are a good one to do. Buy a set or two of pumpkins. The pumpkin transfers, um, paste colors. Right now, if you, um, buy off my site there's a deal going on that i will send you some surprises so look for that on our vip page if you're not a member of our vip you can request to join and read all about the all about the deals or just put in the messaging vip or join and i will send you the invite to it so thanks for watching guys have a good day i'm gonna get busy making some more projects to sell at the attic in valley so have a good day. Bye.